When pain can't be explained by a specific disease, it's referred to as chronic unexplained pain or fibromyalgia. Sadly, many who leave a doctor's office with the explanation that their pain isn't even a real medical problem feel that they're being dismissed and that their pain isn't even being validated. They may have even been told that their pain is psychosomatic, basically just imaginary. And to make matters worse, they're then told that other than pain medications, there's nothing else that can be done to help them. Even though all pharmaceutical interventions offer at best only temporary relief, and at worst, their side effects often cause other significant health issues. Doctors feel that they have no other option but to send patients with chronic pain home with a prescription of just another stronger painkiller or referral to a pain clinic for injections. After all, if there's no disease to treat, then there's nothing to fix but the pain itself. So to help validate those living with pain, some have promoted the idea that since functional MRIs show brain changes in some patients, then we could make pain itself technically the disease. This noble proposal of labeling pain itself as the disease was to help increase the legitimacy of chronic pain as a real condition. And it was hoped that this would help healthcare providers, researchers, and insurance companies to take chronic pain more seriously and potentially improve treatments and interventions. But this pain as a disease idea that was to help validate patients comes with a consequence. Now patients may feel that they have become a helpless victim of a disease. Framing pain now as a medical disease may actually disempower them and negatively affect their sense of control to self-manage. After all, those with um, brain diseases such as MS, stroke, or Parkinson's never get cured of their conditions. Rehab is to minimize the impact of these conditions. Physios don't claim to cure or change the natural history of these brain diseases. On the other hand, chronic pain can actually be cured. So labeling pain as a, another brain disease ignores the concept of neuroplasticity and the undeniable benefits of making positive lifestyle changes and changes in behaviors, thoughts, and beliefs through education that can literally cure them. So this narrow view of chronic pain being an incurable brain disease may actually discourage patients from actively participating in their own recovery. Yet active participation is the only known and proven option for their full recovery. Sorry if I sounded like a rant here, but I'm quite passionate.